power and quotient rules with negative exponents, problem type 2. Simplify. So I have a fraction, okay, or a quotient here inside the parentheses, uh, and the entire thing is raised to the negative third power. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of these parentheses and that exponent on the outside. And the power to a power rule says that I can take this exponent and think like kind of like the distributive property, right? I can take this negative exponent and apply it to every factor on the inside of the parentheses. So in the numerator, right, I'm going to have 4 to the negative third, a to the negative third, and b, I can multiply these two exponents, so I'm going to have b to the negative 12. Okay? Now I'm going to do the same thing in the denominator. Right? This negative 3 is going to get multiplied by both factors down here. So I'll have b to the negative 3 and a to the negative 9. Okay, now that I've taken care of that, I'm going to get rid of all the negative exponents second. Now, negative exponents, I can flip, right, or do the reciprocal. So this uh, fraction here, when I flip everything, right, the 4, since it has a negative exponent, is going to go from the numerator to the denominator. And when I do that, I can change the exponent, change the sign on the exponent. So now it'll be positive. This a has a negative exponent, so it's going to go downstairs to the denominator, and I'm going to change the sign. B, again, has a negative exponent, so it's going to go downstairs, and I'm going to change the sign to positive. Now this b is already in the denominator. It's going to go upstairs because it has a negative exponent. So this will be to the b to the positive third power upstairs in the numerator. And this a, negative exponent, is going to go upstairs to the positive ninth. Now that I have everything rearranged and there's no more uh, negative exponents, right? I have only positive exponents. Now I'm just going to simplify. So this number right here, okay, I don't know what a and b are, so I can't do, um, I can't multiply out the exponent on them, but this one I know is just, right, 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 again is 64. So I'm going to replace that 4 cubed with a 64. Okay, now I have b's in the numerator and the denominator. I have 3 factors of b in the numerator and 12 factors of b in the denominator. When I have the same base, the quotient rule says that I can subtract these exponents. So since I have more factors, right, 12 factors of b in the denominator, I'm going to do 12 minus 3, which is 9, and I will have 9 factors of b left in the denominator. 3 up here canceled with 3 down there, and I was left with 9 in the denominator, okay? Now, just the reverse is going to happen with the a's. I have more factors of a in the numerator. So these three factors are going to cancel with three factors up here, leaving six factors of a in the numerator. So final answer, I'm going to move this over a little bit, okay, is going to be a to the 6th in the numerator and 64b to the ninth in the denominator.